you this evening something of a miracle in Alabama. Auburn University is known for its deep devotion to football, but this past week in Auburn was something more than the usual enthusiasm for the big game. Players and fans were celebrating not just football, but also their faith. Yes, their faith. Touchdown, Peyton Thorne. Auburn University is now 3-0 on the early football season, but as much spirit as there is on campus these days for the undefeated Tigers, it's the spirit of God that's now driving the student population. Last Tuesday at Neville Arena on the Auburn campus, an event called Unite Auburn featured performances by the Christian worship band Passion and hosted several inspiring speakers such as motivational speaker Jenny Allen. But it was what took place after the event that was most eventful. We were worshiping for one last time and Jenny Allen kind of ran back on stage and was like, hey, we're getting messages of people that wanted to be baptized. So we're going to find somewhere to baptize these people. She came back on stage and said, hey, we're going to the Red Barn. Follow us there. And everybody left the arena and flocked to the Red Barn. Auburn's Red Barn venue is about a half a mile from the Neville Arena. It was there that for more than two hours that night, 200 students received Christ and chose to be baptized. Along with the students in the crowd was Auburn's head football coach, Hugh Freeze, himself a person of faith. We have a unique university in the fact that all three head coaches are followers of Jesus, man, and they genuinely live out uh, their faith. So it wasn't a surprise to us that they were willing to get behind and really push the event. Whether this remarkable moment at Auburn was a spontaneous revival or the start of a whole new movement, something truly special happened here. I think Unite Auburn has started something not only in the Auburn community, but in the state of Alabama and across this country saying, hey, you know, these young people, they're on fire for God and they're ready to advance his kingdom. Coach Napier, the chaplain for the Auburn men's basketball team, says yes, that he and his team want to make sure this was not just a one time event. He and volunteers and local pastors made sure everyone that attended the event had information to get plugged into campus ministries and, of course, the local church for discipleship and what they're calling true accountability. If something does break out beyond that event, they'll be ready. Lindsay.